here we have some pictures some colors of the pH from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and also this one is from 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so each of the numbers represent the type of the substance which is uh, it can be also acid so from 0 until below 7 until 6 this is the acid right and then for 7 is the neutral and from 8 until 14 is alkali so uh, using this pH paper we can identify uh, whether the substance is acids natural or alkali right moving on to the next tester we are having the this paper we are calling this as the universal indicator by using the universal indicator we can try to test what kind of substance is it uh, whether it is an acid or neutral or alkali so using this universal indicator if the substance is acid it can change into red for the strong acid and yellow for the weakly acid but uh, if the substance is neutral so the universal indicator will change into green all right and if the substance is um, alkali is an alkali so the universal indicator will change into blue for the weak uh, alkali and also change to purple for the a strong alkali. All right. So this is the second tester, and we still have two others um, tester. Okay. So this is the litmus paper. This is the uh, litmus red, the red litmus, and this one is the litmus blue. Okay. So how does it works? So for the first one, for the red litmus, it will stay red. The color will stay red if the substance is an acid and the red litmus will turn into blue if the substance is alkali and uh, how it works with the blue litmus also it will uh, work uh, like uh, the same thing actually so if the substance is um, acid so the litmus blue will turn into red and if the substance is an alkali the litmus blue will stay blue Okay, so let's go to the observations. Okay, the first one, this is the hydrochloric acid. Okay, then we will um, put the pH paper first. This is the pH paper. We will put it here. So we will make sure that it's uh, rich, I mean, it's uh, rich all the surface. The color is already changed here, as you can see. And uh, we can use the universal indicator here as the standard for uh, the pH. So yeah, it's uh, almost one 
almost zero so this is the strong acid because it has the low uh, pH okay and then uh, how is we using the universal indicator here I will take one of the paper one strip and we can drink here so let's see what is the color gonna be oh okay as you can see it turns into red so it means it's the strong acid all right how if we are using the blue litmus and also the red litmus we will dip it also into the hydrochloric acid so we will dip the blue one first wow it's changed directly so it's changed into the red color it means it is acid okay and we are using the red litmus and we will dip it here all right so it stay the same right because it's acid okay so this is for the hydrochloric acid which is this is the strong acid from the um, test that we already all right so we have the next substance this is acetic acid so we will test it using the pH paper this is the first one and then we will dip it here and then let's uh, make sure that the acetic acid uh, reach all the surface yeah and it, it's already changed the color already changed and we can see from here okay so okay so you can see that the color is um, represent to the pH number two which is a um, strong acid okay let's use the oops I already uh, touch the um, acetic acid and it's already touched the litmus uh, blue so it's like a little bit changed it a little bit uh, red so yeah that's using the universal indicator I will make sure that I'm not touching the uh, right okay so let's using this here all right so it will change also into the uh, red yeah this is the acid so if we are comparing from the acetic acid and the hydrochloric acid the color is different right so this is the strongest acid this is like uh, not as strong as the uh, hydrochloric acid okay now let's move into the third one we have nitric acid here and let's using the pH paper okay all right so let's dip it wow it's changed yeah it's already changed into this kind of color and we can measure by using the pH uh, picture so it's uh, zero so the pH is zero so it means it's the strong acid okay this is for this yeah and then let's move on to the fourth one we have distilled water H2O so this is the water pure water let's use the pH paper okay so this is the first uh, color and we will dip it into the distilled water okay so let's wait and see All right so this is the water from the chemistry lab and all right so uh, yeah I think the color already changed and as you can see the pH is uh, all right I think okay sorry it should be like this okay so this is I think six so this is uh, the pH is six so it's nearly neutral but it still have like some acid um, characteristic on the distilled water okay and let's move on to the next solutions we have okay let's move on to the next solutions we have natrium hydroxide and we will use the pH paper natrium hydroxide so all right 
you can see here, it's changed drastically. Okay, let's measure with the pH picture. Well, right, so if you can see, the pH is 14, it's the same. So it's the strong alkali for the uh, natrium hydroxide. And then we have the, this one is, uh, if you know the name is sunlight, so we usually use this for uh, where we are um, cleaning our uh, dish. So this is the dishwasher and we will use the pH paper to test this. Right, so we will wait for the changes of the pH paper. Okay. Right, so if we can see and we can check here, um, it's, oh yeah, it's already mixed also with some of the water, so it's not pure uh, sunlight, we already mix it with water, and as you can see, the pH paper, okay, I will measure, so it has 6. It's matched with this, so it, the pH is 6. Yeah. Okay. And we still have the another soap. This is, um, if you know the merk, it's uh, Molto. Okay. And we will use the pH paper. Okay. So let's see the changes. Okay. Wait a minute. Right, I think it's already changed. Okay, we will observe. Okay, I think, yeah, it's near to 4. Okay, so it's near to 4, so the pH is 4. So it's an acid. If you know, uh, Indonesians know that this is the molto pewangi, usually for um, cleaning the cloth also, washing the clothes, yeah. Okay, so we will uh, move on to the last one, this is bleach, yeah, by clean. Okay, and we will try to use this pH paper. Right, let's dip it. Okay. And we will see the changes of the pH paper. Okay, and if we are checking here, okay, let's check it with the measurement. Okay, okay, which one is matched with this? color okay I think it's near to 9 yeah it's near to 9 so the pH is 9 it means this is the weak alkali for the bleach okay so uh, we already used the pH paper but we are uh, not yet using the universal indicator so we will use the universal indicator for the um, solutions okay so I will take 4 and I will dip it into each of the solutions. We will have the um, acetic acid here. Okay, and then this one is the nitric oxide. Whoa, this is nitric oxide. It's the strong alkali. As you can see, it changed into purple. Very nice and very beautiful, but you have to be careful with this. Okay, and then this is the bleach. We are using the uh, same method. You will just dip it into the substance. Wow, it turns into green. So it's actually nearly normal, nearly natural. Right, so we can see the difference of the color. And then we have the sunlight. So sunlight plus water actually because it's the we already mixed with some water so it's 
a little bit yellow so it's uh, acid yeah it's, it's a weak acid and we will go to the molto pewangi pakaian okay and then let's see change of the color okay we will make sure that it's already all right yeah so if the color is stay yellow okay so it's acid and we still have uh, two other substance okay let's dip it into the okay <laughs> Okay, so this is the nitric acid and we will use the universal indicator. Wow, you can see it's changed into pink or maybe, yeah, it's pink Fanta, yeah. So this is a uh, strong acid. Okay, and we still have one. Uh, this is the distilled water, yeah, the water from the uh, laboratorium. Okay, let's see the change of the color. Wait a minute. All right. Yeah, you can see here it's changed uh, into little bit green, light green. As you can see, the water start change into little bit green. So it means it's unnatural. Okay, and we already did this um, hydrochloric acid. I will dip this also here. It's the same paper. Right. Yeah, it's changed into the strong acid. Alright, so this is uh, the universal indicator and also the pH paper. And we still have the litmus. Okay, so I will just dip it. It will turn into blue if uh, the substance is the alkali. Let's see. But it stay uh, red if the substance is acid. Okay, I will just uh, okay. So this is the last litmus, <laughs> the last uh, red litmus. So I will just okay divide it into some parts so it will right. So I will use this also. Okay. Yeah, and then we will use the uh, blue litmus. Okay, so wow, it turns into uh, red. Wow, <laughs> it turns into red also. Alright, so it turns into red when it is acid, and it turns or it stay blue if this is the alkali. Yes, so yeah, that's all for uh, today's experiment. I hope you can learn a lot from this acid and alkaline experiment. Thank you guys and see you next time. Bye!